Hello and welcome to Inside Scoop. I'm Sumi Das. Joining me is Josh Lowenson, staff writer for CNET. And we're going to talk about the shakeup, the management shakeup at Apple today. So Scott Forstall and John Browett are either out or on their way out. Why are they leaving? First, first, let's back up for a moment here. What positions do they hold? Sure. So Forstall was basically the chief of iOS software. That's the software that runs on iPhones, iPods, and iPads. Yeah. At the uh, keynotes, he made all the announcements about the improvements to iOS. Exactly. He was a big product guy. You know, he was the architect of that software. Uh, he put that team together originally with with Steve Jobs, and they created the software that's basically. Uh, going to run their, their mobile devices for the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, the other guy is John Browett. Uh, this is someone who Apple hired, who started back in April, and he's basically a replacement for their retail chief. So he was in charge of all the retail stores, uh, all the comings and goings of all that product and the management and, and the strategy. So uh, he's out. He's gone. Okay. So why did they leave? Was this a forced departure or well, what are the rumors? So Apple said simply that they're leaving, but there have been multiple reports from uh, all sorts of reputable, reputable places that say uh, that these guys were canned mm. um, and Browett sooner than Forstall. Forstall isn't actually leaving the company until sometime next year, uh, but we can assume it's going to be early on. Now, I keep seeing the stock climb, 500, 600, 700 points, but yet um, people are unhappy, obviously, at Apple. So why, why, what's, the, what's the talk about why they were asked to leave? I mean, does this have something for Forstall to do with Maps and how it was less than a stellar launch of their Maps app? Yeah, there are really two kind of things focusing here. Uh, one of them is perceived missteps under uh, Forstall's watch in terms of software. One of those is obviously Maps. Uh, you, you have just a product that was not uh, enjoyed by people at all. Uh, it did not delight or surprise. <laughs> no, and, and that's not to say it's a totally flawed product. You know, there's still benefits yeah. to it, but it wasn't quite the execution that people are used to. Um, otherwise, you know, he's, he's really been known for shipping software on time. They've had these year, yearly releases. I think at any other company, a lot of people would say that's a success. Uh, what's come out since then is that he really didn't play well with others behind the scenes. Mm. Uh, there's reports that uh, he couldn't even be in rooms with other executives at this top level, which uh, for a company like Apple, you just can't have that. Yeah. Um, the apology that Tim Cook issued after Maps was released and people expressed their disappointment very publicly, um, that came out at the end of September. I read a report that said that Forstall refused to sign that apology, to issue that apology. Is that correct? Uh, you know, we haven't been able to confirm that, but obviously, uh, if true, that's huge. I mean, to not put your name on something and to have Cook do it, uh, you know, obviously the top executive, the buck stops there. Yeah. Uh, but you have other executives, uh, including Bob Mansfield, who runs hardware, and now he's been assigned some other roles as part of this restructuring, uh, who put his name on something when the company uh, kind of retreaded on some recycling and, and environmental waste um, things that they did earlier this year. Uh, and he really took the responsibility for that. Okay. And Browett, were there mistakes that were made at the retail stores? Sure. So there were reports of layoffs and cutbacks. And, uh, you know, for an organization like retail, which is really Apple's crown jewel, something mm -hmm. that builds, brings in billions of dollars and really the kind of the, the experience people have it's with the Apple the first public time. public face of Apple in right. many ways. You don't want anything tarnishing that. And yeah. it didn't happen for the, the 10 years that Ron Johnson was under the watch. All right, so what does this mean? Does this give us any insight into the post-Steve Jobs era of Apple? I mean, that's what everybody is wondering about. Is this a, a signal of what's to come? Yeah, you know, a lot of analysts that we talked to and who put out notes this morning uh, really say that this isn't a bad thing. They say that change is good, uh, and this is really just Tim Cook kind of putting his, his stamp on the company. Right. So, I mean, you know, we'll see when the market opens up again tomorrow what actually investors think. Okay, Josh, thanks so much. My pleasure. For Inside Scoop, I'm Sumi Das. Thanks for watching.